The purpose of this lab is to introduce you to six basic integrated circuit logic chips. And each of the chips is going to contain multiple copies of one of these logic gates. Now underneath here, I already did the first one for you. It is the 7400 chip. And the 7400 chip contains four copies of the NAND gate. So again, each of the chips that you're gonna be working with is going to contain more than one copy or more than one of a particular gate. Like the, the next chip might be four OR gates and another one might be four AND gates and so forth. So they're all gonna contain multiple copies of a particular logic gate. Now, just so you know, the, the order in which I give you these logic gates is not necessarily the order of these chip numbers. So like the 7400 chip is not an AND gate. As a matter of fact, it's an AND gate and so forth. So you're gonna be working with, with all of these chips, the 02, the 04, 832, and 86, and you're gonna plug them into our breadboard and wire them and see how they work. Now you'll notice when you get an actual chip, it's not just going to say 7,400, as I said in the lab there, there's gonna be a whole bunch of other numbers and letters. So this particular one, and we're gonna get into what all this stuff means. It's a lot of it's just the manufacturer or what type of technology is behind the chip. But yes, this is a 7,400 chip. You can see it has a 74. 100, right? The zero, zero. And again, there are other letters and numbers. Don't worry about it. So when you plug your chip into your actual breadboard, again, all of the pins need to go in the first row above this little center channel and in the first row below the center channel. And always orient it. There should be a little notch here. Always orient it that on the left. This is pin one down here and goes all the way to pin seven. Now in the diagram, pin seven goes to ground. So I'm just gonna run that guy right to ground right there. Now you'll notice I already grounded this blue line right here and I connected that with this little jumper wire to that blue and then I powered this red line and that's connected to the red up there. So I just grounded pin seven and pin 14 I have to run to power. So I'll run that to power just like that. And then remember, Pin one and two are inputs. Pin three happens to be an output. So I'm gonna run pin one and two to switches. Now you have switches on your board right here. So if I run that, now of course I could stick it in any of these holes. The wire makes no difference. I could run that to a switch. I could run that to another switch. Switch one, switch two. And my output, I'm going to run to a light. So Boom, right there. Now that's enough. I already said that uh, these chips will all contain multiple copies of the same logic gate. So you don't need to uh, wire the next two pins. I could, right? One, two, three, this is, this is pin four and five are also inputs. The output is six. So I could run these two guys right here to switches, run this to an, to an LED, and then back around the other side, I have two inputs and an output, another two input and an output. But I don't have to, again, each chip you're working with, and this is pretty normal, each chip will contain multiple copies of the same logic gate. So you're gonna plug it in just like this. You're gonna flip your, you're gonna turn it on, of course, flip your switches, see which combinations light up your light, give you a logic one, and based on that, you should be able to determine what type of logic gate is on the chip. I already determined for you that the 7400 chip in fact contains NAND gates, right? I filled in the table based on my switches. I found that I had uh, all ones and the last one was a zero. That's a NAND gate, right? It's the opposite of an AND gate. An AND gate would be zero, 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 one. A NAND is not AND. You get how that works? It's the opposite, right? And then I just drew in, I actually uh, did didn't freehand this, but you could certainly do that. I drew in the inputs and outputs. There's four NAND gates, and I would like you to draw all of the gates. Now, this first one is done for you. Hey, you already know what a 7400 is, but if I were you, I would wire it up and test it out and make sure it works correctly. That way you'll know that you wired properly. And then you're gonna swap in your next chip. I'm not telling you what it is. Um, well, it's a 7408 chip. I'm not telling you what type of logic gate is on there, but again, there's going to be four copies of the same type of logic gates. Here are the inputs, output, input, output. Again, the ground and uh, the power are in the same position, so you're not gonna have to change anything. Just pull out the old chip, put this one in, see what it does. Now, if you keep going, you're gonna then test the 7432, the 7486, 
And then this one is a little bit different. And that's why I wrote stop, look, the input and output pins are different on this chip. The 7402 still has power and ground in the same place, but look, the inputs are now two and three and the output is one. So they're arranged a little bit differently. If you, if you, put your, if you don't move your wires from your switches, you're gonna get, it's not, I don't even know what's gonna happen. You're gonna get very strange results. So, oh, and there's one more, yeah. You can probably guess what kind of chip this is, what the function or what the logic gates are. Look at it. It's got one input and one output. A is the input. Y is the output. Another input, another output, another input. Hmm. What type of chip contains only one input and has just one output? I just thought I'd give you one last look at the wiring, but I'm sure you could have figured it out. So this is what it's going to look like when you wire your chip. And I think you can handle all the rest of it. All right. Thanks so much for watching.